I'm at Pelican Bookstore here in Sunset Beach with Jack the Groot. Thanks so much for being on the show. Well, thank you for having us. We appreciate it. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, Pelican Bookstore has been open for many years now. Uh, tell us about the history of, of Sunset Beach's only bookstore. Um, we're not sure exactly how long it's been open, but over 25 years, probably inching towards 30. Um, it's been in this location at the Village of Sunset Beach since they opened the, um, they opened the center. Uh, so that's been close to 15 years. Uh, prior to that, it was across the street uh, where the old Food Line Shopping Center is. It was next to a video store for several years there. Uh, Ann Harris bought the bookstore uh, when she retired, and she's been the owner since then, and uh, we've been here. Okay, so you have four people working in the work at the store. That's correct. Now? Um, Ann uh, no longer has a shift. She's taking care of her older okay. siblings, who are in their 90s. So she is in Valdez a lot, okay. but, uh, but she comes and visits. Oh, a lot. Yeah, a lot. she yeah she tries. Okay. She she still has a home at the beach, and uh, okay. uh, Pat Wilson is the manager, and she does a terrific job. She is in charge of uh, everything when Anne's away, and that's pretty much leaves her in charge. Um, and then there's uh, three of us. Uh, there's uh, Suzanne Sourwine, myself, and Jan. Uh, Jan is uh, new. We're training her this year, so she's going to okay. be filling in and taking care of. Things for us. So if you stop by, you'll see one of one of y'all. <laughs> That's right. Yes, we each have our our designated days, and then uh, Jan will be filling in this year uh, during the busy hours during the middle of the day. Tell me about what some what y'all offer here. Y'all have a very large selection. I was surprised when I came in. <laughs> I was like, hey, there's a little bit of everything here yes, for everybody. Is. Yes, uh, we all work very hard to keep books in stock, and we pay attention to what our clients want. We all follow blogs and uh, read uh, the different bestseller lists. But we have all of the new arrivals as something comes out. If it comes out on the day, we generally will have it that day. Um, we carry um, hardbacks, paperbacks. Um, we carry a, have a big religious section, a local section. We have new and used books. And what's unique is we have books, used books that are alphabetically categorized, which is very unusual. You hardly ever see that in the used, used books. Uh, we have a very big history section. People come to the book beach and want to read about history. We have romance, we have a lot of women's fiction. Um, anything that any of the book uh, clubs mm -hmm. want, we, we carry those. Um, Can you help people find something that they might want to read if you don't have it in stock or if they oh, come yes. in and they have no idea uh, <laughs> what they want to check out? We do. We, we can do extensive searches and we have several customers that come in all the time for us to search out uh, books that they've seen mm -hmm. either on a talk show or in an old magazine or some kind of thing. We have some that we are ordering books that are uh, very old books, and we have some that are just ordering books that are in different languages or large wow. print. Um, any kind of book that you would be interested in, we can probably track down for you. Okay, and uh, y'all have children's books too. Uh, that's yes. a pretty big section for uh, everything from you know, elementary school, or, you know, just starting to read all the way through young adult yes. as well. If, Yes. There are you know, high school kids that have a reading list or, mm -hmm. you know, in middle school, you know, if you can help them find what they need. Yes, we, we specialize in children's books, really. We, there are a lot of grandparents here who like to send gifts all year long, mm -hmm. so we uh, pride ourselves in keeping a tra track of the, the new award winners and uh, the new releases yeah. that are out. Um, the series, there's a lot of series for kids, uh, middle school kids especially, um, but we have books for beginning readers, mm -hmm. uh, we have books for middle-aged mm -hmm. readers, you know, middle school. So given the gift of reading. Absolutely, it's yes. And it's summertime, you know, mm -hmm. getting out of school, and you talk about summer reading, you know, there are adults that read during the summer, but making sure that your kids are getting into a book in the summer is pretty oh, important. Yeah, pretty important, and a lot of the kids come with school lists for the next right. year. So we are um, privy to some of these school lists from some of the schools, so we make sure we stock all of those. We also have classics. A lot of classics are, uh, uh, people are asking their kids to read classics during the year. And we have a very good section of classics, which is uh, alphabetical by author, mm -hmm. so. I want to talk about local authors. Uh, that's a very big part of Pelican Bookstore. Yes, it is. Uh, you're one yourself. You've I written uh, books on, uh, Sunset and Ocean Isle Beach, as well as fiction? Yes, yes, yes. I've written uh, novels that are set in the local area. Uh -huh. Okay. Tell me about how you got involved you know, with writing, uh, your background, and how, how that came to be. 
Um, when we first moved here, um, my daughter went to a private school in Shalotte, and after the school shut down, um, the grade level that she was at, we took her to Wilmington to Cape Fear Academy, and I drove each way. And wow. yeah, um, and the first year I uh, tried to stay there uh, during the during the day, but. Um, you run around, you spend money, you do things. And I said, well, my husband said, you know, we need to not spend so much money while we're in Wilmington during the day. So <laughs> after um, going to all the free places, the galleries and harbors, museums and whatever, I finally said, I've got to find something to do. So I had a friend who was selling his laptop and I bought it from him. And uh, that's when I started writing my first book in Wilmington in my car, in my <laughs> in my Pontiac Sunfire convertible, <laughs> plugged in. <laughs> With all the inspiration at yes. the moment then. Yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> On the really cold days, I plugged into the, uh, this was before Wi-Fi, so they let me plug in at the Myrtle Grove Library <laughs> and I, on the cold days. Wow. And I had satellite offices for my bathroom and for coffee at the McDonald's and the Hardee's. <laughs> what was the last book you wrote? The last book I wrote, um, Miller Pope and I, uh, we had an ocean, a beat, an Ocean Isle Beach, um, the way things were kind of book about how it was mm -hmm. before the electricity and at the beginning what it was like uh, without phones and things. Yeah, I was checking out the Sunset Beach history mm -hmm. book and it was so fascinating, the photography and it's a lot of great history that uh, especially newcomers to the area yeah. would really be interested in to find out about where they're living yeah. and to really immerse mm -hmm. themselves in that rich history of the area that we live in here in Brunswick County. And y'all also have uh, events with Silver Coast Winery that uh, hosting local authors from uh, here and also in North Carolina that come and uh, y'all do a little like wine tasting and, and mm -hmm. uh, meet and greet with the author. Right, we do. We we support. Uh, we grow, like to grow authors, and we like to um, have uh, local authors at the uh, winery. But we have had some really big best-selling authors. Wow. We, uh, we, we've had Karen White and Diane Chamberlain. Um, we've had uh, Wendy Wax and uh, Mary Alice Monroe, Dorothea Benton Frank. Um, we are not, we don't have the space here in the store to accommodate people and we do get several hundred people sometime at some of these events. So we partner with the winery um, so that we can ho host the events okay. there. And we have uh, seven events this year. We have already had four. We have three left, um, but uh, we'll have Lisa Wingate and we'll have Mary Alice Monroe in June. Okay, and we'll have that on the screen for our viewers with the lo location of Silver Coast Winery so okay. they can find out where that is and go check it out. And yeah. it's uh, 750 for it's admission. It's $7.50 for admission. It includes a glass of wine and you get to keep the souvenir glass. Mm, cool. And uh, we have refreshments. We have a cheese tasting tray and some crackers and it's just, uh, mm -hmm. you get a talk and, and then you aren't obligated to buy the book, but you can buy the book, or if you've bought it previously, you can bring it to have it signed. Oh, that's really awesome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Jack, uh, you also offer more than just books here at the bookstore. Do you have lottery? <laughs> I thought that was <laughs> pretty cool. Yeah, we have lottery. We have uh, puzzles. Oh, uh, yeah. So if you have a rainy day at the that's beach, right. we have jigsaw puzzles, <laughs> a lot of them. Uh, we have a good selection of cards. Um, we stay on top of the cards. We spend a lot of time getting the right cards in, and some of them are hilarious. It's uh, nice in the afternoon to, to have a group of women come in and read through the cards, and they're all over there just laughing and <laughs> showing the cards over. So. And then there's one line of cards that only four places in North Carolina offer, and Pelican Bookstore is one of them. Tell me about it. Uh, we have the Papyrus uh, franchise here. There's only four locations, Charlotte, Raleigh, I can't remember the other one and us. We're the only one yeah, postal. It's the only one here. So yes, that's it's what the only matters, one right? here. Yes, yes. And they are beautiful <laughs> cards. If you need a special occasion card, they're perfect. And if you're just going to send someone a, a, a gift card or money, you really need to dress up your card. So oh, yeah. we have some they're Especially beautifully with graduations, embellished. Especially graduations, high school mm -hmm. graduations. Absolutely. June, Father's Day, all yeah. those events. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Jax, thank you so much for allowing us to come here and check out Pelican Bookstore. Uh, Tell us where you're located again and how our viewers can get in touch with you. Well, we're, we're located on the back side of Food Lion. Okay. <laughs> okay? So we're, bet we're between the two restaurants. We're between the La Cucina Italian restaurant mm -hmm. and at the other end, the Mexican restaurant. Very close by to the ATMC store. Very close. Beach, that's just right. Just a couple doors down. Uh -huh. so right we're neighbors. Next, <laughs> yep, we're neighbors. And right next door to the Blue Heron, the gift okay. shop. Um, we're very close to the planetarium. so. 
Um, we're on Chandler's Lane. Okay, so. and you're on Facebook. You have a Facebook page. We have a Facebook page. We page. Have we have a website. Uh huh. And okay, it'll all be up on the screen for our viewers. Right, so. and uh, you can certainly call us. Uh, we're in the phone book. Yes. So, all yeah. right. Thanks so much, Jack. Thank you.